Well, hello, model car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Ralph, and this week I'm featuring my finished build here of my 69 Cougar XR7 here, uh, which has been kind of on and off the channel in various videos in various ways. And it started with um, my 69 Cougar kit comparisons, where I was picking up some of the vintage kits and comparing the contents of them. And that was an interesting experience, but on eBay, I bought one of these original 69 kits, and the auction was actually for two uh, bodies at least. They showed a nice box and a lot of uh, parts, and it was kind of a, a mixed bag, and we didn't guarantee that everything was there, but they said it seemed like it looked like two kits. So I bid on it, I won, and I ended up getting literally two kits. I got one very nice kit, and then I got this kit. This kit, the body was painted. Some other parts were painted. But the first kit was uh, pretty much mint and really nice. So I used the nice kit for the kit comparison. And this one I had, I'm like, well, you know what? I'd like to build this. And then Super Clean had approached me about sponsoring a video and sending me some product. And I'm like, you know what? Great, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. I've used this stuff in the past. I've shown it in other videos. But yeah, you know, I appreciate them sponsoring and sending me product. And I'm like, yeah, I did that. I did a video, which I'll put in the video description below, of um, stripping the paint on some bodies. And this stuff won't attack the plastic. It does a really good job. It's my go-to. And I use this stuff on my real cars too. So in that video, I did some degreasing on the engine because I had to do the batteries on my Dodge. So um, did that video and that was great. And then I stripped the, the three bodies. But this is the one where whatever paint they used back then, it was fighting it. It did uh, strip it eventually, but it took multiple applications, but it did take it off. But at that point, I had a really nice body and I did want to eventually build it. So it kind of just sat and I worked on it here and there and played with it when I was feeling like doing uh, a rebuild on it and just, you know, getting this one done. So it's kind of been off and on to the side. But since then... Um, they're sponsoring this video, and as a thank you, they're giving away uh, a can of their degreaser here, um, spray and aerosol. I'll throw a picture of that up on the screen. And the best way to enter, I'll put some more of that in the end here uh, across the screen and a link in the video description. But it'll be email entries because I know not everybody has a direct link on their phone. So I figured this is going to be the best way to do it was email me directly at musclecarmodeler at gmail.com. I'll put that in the bottom of the screen, of course. And send me some entries. This is going to be up on the 14th, so one whole week. And then after that, uh, Ryan will do a drawing. I'll do a quick little video drawing uh, announcing the winner. But Super Clean is going to send you the product directly from them. Entries are limited to people in the 48 states, the continental 48 states. Due to shipping restrictions on this, it is a chemical, it is considered hazardous, it's got to be shipped properly. So because of that, it's limited to uh, just the 48 states, the continental 48 states, and will be shipped directly from SuperClean. So I'll put that in the video description below as well. And you guys, you can send me an email and I'll respond letting you know that you're entered. And then I'll do a drawing. I'll have Ryan do it. Uh, it'll be kind of fun. But I do appreciate them uh, sponsoring the channel, sending me product, and also sending you guys some product. So whoever wins, uh, great. I'm, I'll send them the information as long as you don't mind sending them your name and address and everything because they're going to need it to ship it because it's going to be shipped directly from them. But, um, you know, like I said, it's great stuff. I love it. And I used it to do this one and a couple other videos in the past before. But anyway, we'll get to this build. So let me take this outside. We'll do the outside video and then I'll talk more about the actual build and what I did to it. Here she is out here in the Arizona sun, this uh, sparkling green here. I love this, uh, this tester's uh, British racing green metallic where it's got the gold flakes in it. It just looks amazing. Uh, one of my favorite colors. Unfortunately, it's discontinued from their Model Master line. I haven't seen anything like it since then. Um, this is pretty much the last of it because every time I'd see it, I'd buy a bottle. And when they discontinued it, I heard they were discontinuing it. I went out and bought as many bottles as I could find. So I had like two or three bottles. But it's pretty much all used up now. Used it on this one in the Viper. Uh, you know, those were the ones planned for it. But 
I love this color, especially with the beige interior. This thing just really, really pops. So, yeah, check that out. Just uh, looking really good here in the sun. And that chrome. Look at that. Yeah, just stay here in a just amazing. Those bumper guards and everything from the vintage kit. So there we go. And some of the detailing on it. And even those model Haas tires. Those are nice tires. Didn't want to use the original ones because they melt plastic and decided I'm not going to risk it or worry about it. But let's uh, do that. All right, we're going to head on inside and continue on. I'll tell you more about this build. All right, I love this color out in the sun. It's just one of my favorite colors, and I try to get this wherever I can, even though it's a discontinued uh, tester's paint. This is a British Racing Green Metallic. It's got like a little bit of a gold flake to it, and I just love this paint. But when it comes to this build... This one being the original uh, 1969 issue and back when AMT did it as the XR7. And there's a few errors on the body here. But it's got all the XR7 emblems in it. It's got a 390 or FE engine in it. And um, it was long before they started modifying it. But it wasn't really a true stock uh, model. There was just a couple of things that were missing like a stock air cleaner. The exhaust didn't uh, hook up. That was kind of interesting and uh, had racing mirrors. So there's a few things that were you know missing from the kit. So I decided to, to correct those, but keep as much as the original kit as possible. So I left all the emblems, I used all of them, the 390, the XR7 on the roof, Cougar on this side, which by the way, is wrong on this side. Um, I brought it up in one of my videos, but uh, the Cougar's on the wrong side, and that side marker light's in the wrong spot. But that's how it was issued in some of the original issues. Now, these ones also have the bumper guards and the 1969 license plates from the annual. I love those. And these wheels, while all the bumpers were re-chromed long ago, these wheels are from the original kit. And uh, so they, they're not really re-chromed, so they have a bit more of the satin look. But I put the blue center caps on them. And I really want to do the beige interior, which has, has the XR7 interior. But this was long before um, this thing was modified by uh, Ertl. So in the mid-80s, when they acquired AMT, this is one of the kits that they modified. Um, it had been turned into a street machine, a uh, hole cut in the hood, and engines were swapped, a lot of stuff. So it really couldn't be built stock, but they decided to turn it into an eliminator. So they took all the emblems off the body, redesigned a whole new interior, two new engines, some chassis modifications for the engine. So like this one is a stick and it's a 390. Uh, the full exhaust system, which I got the exhaust and made up to the manifolds. This kit, the, they didn't quite made up. They were hooking up to headers, but not the stock manifolds, even though they were in the kit. I used the mirror from the later kits as this one had bullet mirrors, it didn't have the stock mirrors. And as far as uh, the engine went, I did a few little upgrades. I used the motor that was included in the kit, hooked most of it up, but that air cleaner, it doesn't come with a stock air cleaner. That's from one of the later Mustang kits. I'm pretty sure one of the Ravel ones. Then I added the, the tower braces that are and the firewall that are actually in um, the Eliminator kits. The original firewall on this was pretty much the same, but didn't have the provisions for that. So, and then the battery mounts this way where the battery mounts a different way. So I was just keeping a lot of the original vibe um, from the kit in there, but changing a few things. Had a lot of fun doing the interior. There's uh, the XR7's interior, which is completely different. Um, doesn't have the clock that's on this side. Uh, the early issues don't, the later issues, the Eliminator kits do. So there's a lot of differences. So I wanted to do this one just like that and make it uh you know as close to the original as possible but keeping it factory stock but not necessarily box stock so i had a lot of fun doing that um polished the emblems through with bare metal foil 
and really enjoyed this kit, but just took my time with it and played with it. But it was vintage old plastic. I broke this valance panel, I don't know how many times. I lost count, but I kept breaking it, kept fixing it. Yeah, it's one of those easy fixes, but it gets kind of tiring and repetitive when you keep breaking it. So, but really enjoyed building this one. And I still have uh, one more little bit newer version, the street machine version, that I want to cut the roof off and make it a convertible. So I'm going to have a little bit of fun with that. That'll be another one of my 69 Cougar projects. I can't seem to build enough of these. I've got like, this is the third one I think built now. I'd have to count of 69 Cougars. But I got at least two more planned. But anyway, I uh, really enjoyed building this one. And I hope you guys like it. I, I love this color. I had to do it in this dark green. It's just a, a color combo that really pops. And there are a few other things that uh, um, Ertl did fix on the kit when they did update it. But I uh, really enjoyed this one. So this, this was a lot of fun to do. So you guys... Um, I uh, want to thank everybody for their comments and reviews and everything. I also want to thank uh, Super Clean for their uh, sponsorship and uh, providing uh, the giveaway for you guys. It's going to be kind of fun and exciting, a first one for me. So again, you guys, uh, check the video description below for my email address, but it's uh, musclecarmodeler at gmail.com. And uh, send me your information and enter the giveaway. And unfortunately, it does expire. So... It'll be a week and I'll cut off the entries. So the very next Saturday, the 21st, um, that'll be the end of the entries. So enter now, but we got another week as far as entries go, then I'll cut off the entries. And then I'll do the, the drawing with Ryan. I'll print them all up, get them all mixed up, and he'll draw one. It'll be kind of fun. I'll have a short little video announcing the winner. That'll be a lot of fun. I think Ryan's going to enjoy that. And then Super Clean will send that to you uh, right directly from them because I'll be providing them the information. So thanks for all your support, guys, and your comments and, and everything, your likes, your shares. I do really appreciate it. And you guys, you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time.